Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to the, I guess, epilogue or bonus material for our Unity 3D tutorial on creating sort of dynamic roads and things like that. Um, things are kind of wonky if you want to do things like deal with terrain that has height or make curved roads. Right, so we've been working on entirely flat terrain so far. Now it doesn't mean that's not possible, it's just there's extra considerations. So I've made a quick little mesh here in um, in Blender with just just a little bit of a bump in it. Right, it's kind of hard to see the angle on, on this side of the screen, but you can you can see the shape that's going on. Right. So if I start the game on the flat territory, we're working okay. The problem with the the slope territory, well, there's there's a couple of issues, um, and let me zoom in on this. So there's a couple of issues to talk about. Uh, why can't I actually? There we go. A couple issues to talk about. So one is that the rotation, the way that we have the rotation code in there now, it'll rotate around axes that you don't necessarily expect it to rotate around. Um, and that's, it's not a bug. That's just, you know, that's just kind of how things are. Um, and, and you can, you'll, that means adjusting the way that the rotations are calculated for one. The other thing, the more significant thing is the fact that if you're going from say here to up here, it's going to cut through the land, right? Because it's making a straight line. So the, there we are. So it's making a straight line. So the way that you resolve this is when you drop your, your end point, what you can do, what you can test, unless I'm mistaken here, let me check. Um, hit info dot triangle index you can check to see which triangle in the mesh was hit, okay? So what you would do is when you spawn, when you have your two nodes, you would ray cast from each node, you would cast a ray directly down from the node to see where they hit the ground mesh. And then check to see if they are part of the same triangle. That's not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the, the, the best or only condition because almost always they're going to be separate triangles, right? That's, hmm. Yeah. So I'm sort of, again, you know, sort of seat of the pants. This one possibility. The other possibility would be to check the height. You, you need to figure out if the two things are not like on the same level, but also in between. And what I was going to say is if they're not, if they don't match up, then what you do is you actually, you put a node between the two. And then you do another ray cast down to see if they meet. And if they don't, then you again, you subdivide them again. So here we would actually get a few subdivisions, right? Because ideally, the correct behavior, we have a node here, and then another node here, and then one just at the base of the hill, one at the top of the hill, and then one on the flat part of the hill, and so on. And so you get this connection of things. What is the right approach for figuring out where all these bends and things are? I can see that like it's, it's not a simple, straightforward algorithm. I can see there's definitely a few, like, clumsy kind of brute force it's brute force ish ways of doing it um you know maybe all your roads are always su subdivided into segments of like one unit or something like that or even a half a unit or some some resolution that's appropriate given how bumpy your terrain is and each one of them individually test where they are and arrange themselves correctly so they may not create new nodes but your road is divided into many, many segments. Each one of them align themselves properly on the ground based on doing some hit tests at every corner to make sure that they're flat, they're not sticking through things as much as possible. I mean, there's always a possibility if you have a very, like, if, if your ground is literally like completely bumpy and jerky and, and noisy, then it'll poke through. And in which case, what games do in those cases is they modify the ground mesh texture in those areas to flatten them out, get rid of the bumps, flatten the road out, flatten the ground out, and then put the road on top of it. And that is very viable, but modifying very large and complex meshes is, you know, kind of a whole other issue. Um, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's it definitely a thing. Uh, I hope there's enough information here to sort of figure out some of that. And then in terms of making curved roads, it's the same kind of approach in that your road segment is actually, or your road is actually subdivided into multiple sub segments. And then you are, you know, using the radius of a circle, you're using splines 
and then running your road along there. It also means that your segments won't actually be square, right? Because on a curve, the outside part of your segment will be a little bit longer than the inside part of your segment. And none of those things are impossible. In fact, I've done some spline work in Unity before, and it, it works great, and it's fine. And it's even relatively fast. It's not bad. You could add an on. You could add a collision mesh or trigger mesh on your actual road, and put some on-click handlers so that you can actually click on a segment of the road and then pull it and deform the road that way. I mean, imagine just the whole road curves like putty as you you click and drag it, uh, and that would be pretty satisfying for certain types of games. Um, so I mean, those are all larger issues, and most of those are not things that can be solved generally, right? A lot of times they're going to be pretty specific to what you're doing. Now do check the Unity store. There are some add-ons already available to uh, that, that help you build roads. Um, I haven't tested them, so I don't know which ones are better or worse or work for all applications or not. Uh, even things like Megafires might work for certain situations um, depending on what you're trying to do. But I hope this gave you enough of a background to get started. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I will try my best to address them. Obviously, this is still kind of a complex topic, though. Um, but there you have it. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.